For this challenge, students will be designing and building their own catapults to fire projectiles across the room. Students will learn about forces, angles and accuracy, and each team will need the following things. For this challenge, you'll need between one and two hours, and you'll find indicative timings within your toolkit. We suggest starting with an introduction around catapults and their uses throughout history. We then have optional warm-up activities, followed by the main challenge. Students will have everything they need in their worksheets to get started, allowing you to move around the room and help where needed. Further information about the curriculum covered, any top tips, and the download links are all available in the teaching notes in your toolkit. So to fix these two lollipop sticks together, we're going to use elastic bands. I'm going to put these two across each other like this, and then taking the elastic band, come over, cross it over, come back, cross it over, one more time over here, and then we're going to cross it and get to there. That doesn't have to be precise, but that's the sort of thing you're aiming for. Okay, so once you've got these, do that four times and you should end up with a base that looks like this. So the next thing you're going to do is make the A-frames, which are these two things here. And so it's the exact same trick with the elastic bands. And these two are going to connect in here to form the beginnings of your catapult. So we're going to need to connect these A-frames to the base. To do that, we're going to use another elastic band. So this can be a little bit fiddly, so this is the sort of thing you might want to help um, some of the students with. So again, we're going to come around here, anchor at the bottom, turn it, and then come back to anchor at the top. And if you're feeling like it's not strong enough, you can always put an extra elastic band on there. So once you've got the two A-frames here like this, we're going to use this lollipop stick to actually uh, give it some strength. So pulling that here. So the first one we're going to do is this one. Again, coming over and then giving it another twist. like that, and then that will allow us to attach this one to here. Like that. Okay, so now we've got the base complete, we're going to attach this lollipop stick, which we're then going to attach the catapult arm to. So, exactly the same trick. We're going to put this around here. Take the elastic band and connect it like that. Similarly here, we're going to go around and attach that there. Okay, now we're going to make the bowl for the catapult, which is going to hold our projectiles. So, using some white tack, we're just going to take a chunk of this and add it to the lollipop stick here. And you can form this however you like to give it a kind of bowl shape. And once you've moulded it, it should look something like this. And you can just push that straight onto the lollipop stick. Okay, so the final thing to do is to actually attach this to the catapult. So one thing we're going to need to do is connect two rubber bands together. Hold this like this. Put one between the other and pull them like that. Then we're going to do the same trick on the back here. We're going to make a loop and pass it through. So that's going to give the tension that actually pulls the uh, catapult back and forth. Sliding the catapult arm behind this top lollipop stick, we're then going to attach here. 
like that. So the final thing to do is to add that tension to the bottom there. So to do that, we're going to take these two elastic bands and wrap them around here. Which should give you a working catapult. Give it a go. Fire! So we can give it a little bit more power just by adding more elastic bands. And that's one of the things you want to do for the extension activities is see if there's any ways that they can change or modify this catapult to make it more powerful and or more accurate. So let's try this one. Oh, hey! Okay, so there you have it. That's the catapult challenge. Um, have some fun with it. Try and explain to the kids um, what the different forces they're using are and how to build it together. And if you have any problems at all, do check your toolkit. Enjoy.